Consider the equation, matrix A, multiplied by the vector x, equals vector y. Earlier we saw, how can we solve this equation for x, by multiplying both sides by the inverse of A. However, the unique mapping to the inverse may not exist. For example, the inverse of a matrix is not defined for non-square matrices. We can still solve this kind of equations, using more Penrose pseudo-inverse. In the formula for the pseudo-inverse of the matrix A, the U, D, and V, are the singular value decomposition of A. The pseudo-inverse of D, is defined as the transpose of D, after taking the reciprocals of its elements on the main diagonal. We can then find X, by multiplying the pseudo-inverse of A, by Y. Using this method to solve for X, if A has a unique mapping to its inverse, pseudo-inverse will be the same as the actual inverse. So we will find the exact X. If A, has more columns than rows, and the equation may have many solutions, using pseudo-inverse we will find the X, that has the smallest possible Euclidean norm. If A, has more rows than columns, and there are no solutions, with pseudo-inverse we'll find X, for which Y, is as close as possible to A, X.